Hello everyone, today we're going to be going over the AP Computer Science A 2016 free response questions. Well, they have just been released and this set is pretty different than how we've seen them in the past. So I would like to go over them just in case so you know how you've done. Um, or if you're watching this preparing for the 2017 or beyond, um, kind of see how I would have solved these problems. Now, as of today, the uh, College Board has not released their solutions to these, so these are my personal solutions. So a little bit of a disclaimer, um, I'm going to be doing these on the fly. So I can definitely do something wrong, I could overlook something, um, and or I didn't follow the, uh, the subset for Java. So I do want to just share what my personal solutions would have been for these. This is my second time going through. I actually did these in class with my students. Um, twice and I am doing this video primarily to help the students that were absent today or taking the US world uh, I think it was US history today um, or other AP exams so they can actually review and see what's going on so um, I have done a few things to prep for this so let me get started I'm gonna be scrolling down real quick um, we have question one here and I also I will be using Eclipse to um, solve the problems. Um, unfortunately, I have no way to write and record at the exact same time. So we will be cheating a little bit by using um, Eclipse. But And I have gone ahead and put and typed in all the class structures and any sample code that they gave us. So let me close all this out real quick. Close all. So you'll see my exam right here. And I'm going to be opening up problem one. So I do have runner, which happens to be the same code for part A and part B that is right here. And I also have a blank file called string chooser. I have everything in packages, so just ignore that for now. Um, and we have ram random letter chooser, which just has the constructor. And this method here was it wasn't shown to us, but I decided to include it anyway and kind of wrote something that should do um, what, they are, what they're saying. So let's take a look at problem number one, and I'm gonna to try to explain my reasoning as we go through. So um, if I do happen to miss something, please uh, let me know in my comments. I will try to either fix this video or, um, or make a little comment on there as well, and I'll be more happy to explain anything if something doesn't really um, work out. So we have a random string chooser object, which is really cool. It's constructed uh, of an array of non-null non strings, so we definitely have some value in the strings, cool. When the object is first constructed, all the strings are considered available, cool. The random string chooser um, class has a get next method, which has the following behavior, a call to the Get next returns randomly chosen string that's available uh, in the strings object. Once a particular string has been returned from the call, uh, um, once the once a particular string has re returned from the call to get next is no longer available. So we're kind of like throwing things away. So um, I'm thinking of this as like a, a hat of words, and I'm just pulling a hat or a piece of paper out of random. And then as soon as I read it, I throw it away. I don't, I don't put it back in the hat, which is what I'm thinking right now. If no strings are available, just return none, okay. Um, and they're kind of showing you an example. I have a, an array here, wheels on the bus, and pretty much I call, I'm pulling six of those um, strings out. So the first three, I can get anything on there. I could actually get it wheels on the bus in order. Um, in the example, they showed bus the wheels on. It could have been in any particular order. The only exception to that is the none none would have to be re at the end because we're pulling two extra tickets. We have to wait till we have nothing left in our in our hat um, per se. So we're going to be writing the entire random string chooser class, which is really different because generally they have a array or array list. We don't get hit with write the entire class um, generally as the first question. A um, couple things to notice is we must use a constructor 
uh, uh, with um, and any necessary methods. Now, when I look at this piece of code here, I see the constructor. It takes in an, uh, a string array, and the only other method I see in here is get next. Okay, so I'm only going to be writing those two particular ones there. Any instance variables must be declared private. Okay, I got that. The code segment in the example above um, shows the behavior. Uh, neither a constructor nor any method should alter the parameter pass to the constructor. Okay, that's another big thing there too because that means that you can't just save um, any values. Okay, or you can't save the um, the array of strings being passed in because you'll uh, modify the other parts. But your implementation may copy the contents of the array, and that's what we're actually going to be doing. So let's go ahead and write the random string chooser. So the very first thing that you guys should have done is public class random string chooser. All right, and in this particular one, I am going to be creating a uh, list or an array list of strings. Um, remember that we need to declare this as private. You guys won't have to worry about um, imports. So let me just import that in. And I'm going to make this, okay, so I'm gonna be calling it, let's call this word list. Let's create my constructor. My constructor should have be the same name as my class. And remember it takes in an array list of words. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to initialize my word list, array list of strings, and then I'm going to be adding all the word into the array list. Now the reason I'm using a, an array list is I can remove things from the array list very easily. So that's the reason I'm using that. So I'm going to do strings s, I'm going to be using it for each loop here. Word list dot add. I'm just going to add s to my array list. I'm going to import my array list too, so I don't have any more errors. Okay. Did I not spell that right? Random string class. Yeah, I didn't spell that right. So that would be chooser. So just make sure that this name and this name match okay so I pretty much add everything to a word list and I add things in now the next thing I'm going to need to do is I need to do public string get next and this time we need to return something that's random so the very first thing is I'm going to generate my random number so I'm going to have an int in here called random or I'll we'll call it rand okay and this is going to select the index value. So I'm going to have an int value because I need to cast it. So math.random. And I'm going to multiply it by the word list dot size. Okay. Now what this is going to do is math.random is going to generate a number between 0 and 1. It's going to include 0 but not include 1. We're going to multiply it by the size. So if the size was 3, Okay, the range would be from zero to three, but not including three because we're gonna cast down. Okay, so it's gonna be a number between one and two, both inclusively, um, and that would actually be the index value that we're gonna be selecting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select, get the string. This is gonna be the answer that we're gonna be returning, and I'm gonna do word list dot get, and I'm gonna do rand. Okay, so I'm gonna save my answer in there. The reason why I need to save my answer in there is I don't wanna select this word again. So I'm going to remove it from my list. If I do this in opposite order, I won't have a reference to the, um, the pre that element that I deleted. So I need to save it first, then delete it, then I need to return the answer. Okay, if I hit return at any particular point in time, I won't actually be removing it. Now. This would be my complete answer for A.
So that should be it. Um, if I take runner, um, let's try this out. Um, part A. I'm going to run this. Now, I did screw up on one little part, and I just realized that. And I should get an error if I run this. Yep, I'm getting an error. So what I forgot to do is I forgot to check one thing. I actually did this when I was actually explaining it to my students as well. Luckily, one of them caught me on it. If word list dot size is equal to zero, so meaning is it empty? I could have used the is empty uh, method in there as well. If the size is equal to zero, we're going to return none. So let's go back to my runner here. Let's comment this out. Okay. So let's run this. Okay, we get on the wheel bus none none. We run it again. On bus the wheels none none, which is perfect as long as we get none none and on the bus. So I would have gotten points marked off for not putting this on my original code. Luckily, I, uh, I ended up putting it afterwards, but just give you guys a heads up, this is probably the easiest part to leave off on this particular uh, piece of code. Now let's look at part B before we go get any further. And we're scrolling down here, and B, the following uh, partially completed random letter chooser class is a subclass of the of the string chooser class. You will write the constructor for the random letter chooser class. Okay, cool. So all we're doing is writing the constructor. Now this part is I felt was very very tricky. All right, because you have to do everything in one line. So let's go take a look at this. Um, we have a um, a static method in here called get string letters, and pretty much all that does is it breaks up the word that we put in into an array of strings. So they put in the word cat here, and they broke it up into three different strings. So that is kind of very important to know. So if we end up doing this, we're going to go to letter chooser. I wrote my own. Basically, what I did is I ended up creating a list of the length, and I just used a substring of every single letter and just stored it in. But that you don't have to do. That was something that was given to you. Uh, so that's not that big of a deal. But you do have to call super. And super is going to store everything in the random string chooser. So we have to call uh, super. But super takes in a um, string array. So where do we get a string array? Well, we get it from get string letters. So we call super get string letters string. Okay, why is that giving me there? Public static. Oh, I didn't extend. Um, the bus. Okay. Now that works. But you wouldn't have to do that anyway. I just, my template was just a little messed up. So this is a pretty one line thing. You couldn't do, uh, since super has to be the very first line in the um, constructor, unfortunately, that's the only way to actually do this particular problem. So that was. Question number one, um, I'm going to be continuing and doing question the rest of the questions just a bit, but since we're already at 15 minutes, um, we're going to pause and then I'll upload another video. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys in a little bit. Bye-bye. Ta-da.